Let's have a closer look at the Mercedes X chassis and answer the question, why can Mercedes have such a tight side pod package compared to other teams? If you design a Formula 1 car, you have a monocoque, engine and gearbox mounted directly to the monocoque rack behind it and radiators at the side. Additionally, in modern Formula 1 cars, you have the fuel tank integrated into the monocoque and the high voltage battery underneath the fuel bladder. It's a very simple and efficient package, but the side radiators make the car very wide and block clean air from flowing to the back. So manufacturers tried different arrangements to make the car slimmer. Instead of having a small radiator facing the airflow 90 degree to flow direction, they installed larger radiators and angled them around the z-axis. That way they could have a slimmer bodywork at the back and guide air around the inner side of the rear wheels to the back. The next step came around 2010 when more and more teams changed to radiators that are angled around the y-axis and had a kidney shape to allow a larger undercut and straighter flow to the back. With this concept, teams could create high downwashing bodyworks and package a relatively big radiator surface. That way, the expansion between inlet and radiator is relatively high and the flow slows down a lot, which reduces the losses of the internal flow. But the problem that the side radiators are making the cars wider still remained. So, since flow velocities through the radiators are pretty low, extremer directional changes to the airflow were actually not a big problem anymore. And so Mercedes started to push the radiators into their monocoque. They did this every year a little bit more and today they ended up with a monocoque that has an X shape if you see it from the back. The radiators are recessed so deeply into the chassis that they need more material to produce it, so it's heavier. The fuel bladder sits higher, so the center of gravity is higher and it looks like the radiators are partly obstructed by the monocoque. Which they are, but again, since flow velocities are pretty low, you can afford that. Also, these angled radiators tend to have more flow at the bottom end and don't use the upper part as much. So, some more blockage at the bottom can help to spread the flow velocities more evenly and hence use the radiator more efficiently. So, Although there are a number of disadvantages of this design, the aerodynamic benefit seems to be worth it. We can see that radiator, monocoque and exhaust pipes are in one line and it looks like Mercedes doesn't even have side pods. That allows them to have a super tight package underneath and maximum freedom for their bodywork design. I hope you liked this little insight and see you at the next video.